Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about if or answer the question do you need to follow your passion in business or not? So let's get to it. So, why you should listen to me? Well, I've been involved in 12 businesses over the last 10 years or so, and what I'm doing day to day right now is looking for more businesses to buy. I'm looking to buy businesses with my firm and my partners. Um, this is what we do for a living. We're talking to business owners every day. Our sweet spot are businesses doing between 1 to 10 million a year in sales. And based on that background, I want to give you my perspective as someone who's out there talking to business owners pretty much every day and give you what I think is the best path to follow. Basically, deciding with your own, hey, do I need to follow something that I love and passionate about? Or do I just need to follow the money and the biggest potential um, for more financial gains? So let's talk about a few of those things. And yeah, if you want to learn more about this type of content or just general how to buy businesses, how to grow businesses, how to make or have other people running those businesses for us while we grow and build some kind of portfolio, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. Uh, and like this video, it's helping me grow in my channel. So yeah, every help will, will, will is counted. So um, thank you for your support so far. Thank you for your feedback. Now let's get to the content. Just to begin with, there is a sentence that says, uh, choose a job you love and you'll never need to work again. So I guess to some extent I, I agree about this sentence, but then I think there's a lot more to, to expand on that. First of all, just, just in general, think about things you loved and were passionate about when you were young. They're probably different than what you're passionate about and, and love to do right now. That's why I think it's, I mean, remember things change all the time. And in the end of the day, in my opinion, based on my experience, it's more about staying commitment to something and building the habit and then you can find a way or ways to love that activity no matter what as long as you're becoming good at something and you're becoming good at something by creating a habit of doing it then you can literally enjoy the process of doing anything i mean if you look some of the biggest athletes out there out there they're saying that they never like even people that retired say that they don't really they didn't really enjoy their their training or their workouts or everything that they did day to day but they more they care more about the feeling that they're getting after the workout or the feeling that they're getting after winning. So I think focusing on that angle is just, again, I'm just giving you a different perspective on things. I don't think there's a right or wrong. I don't think it's black or white. I think you need to figure out or listen to a few different thoughts and then figure out what's the best plan for you. And I think people who go into business, I mean, many people out there say, hey, just do something that you love. but. Many times that when you go to something that is like your passion, it's like your hobby and you're making it your job, your day to day thing, you, uh, your passion is literally going to be destroyed just by being there every single day. You're not going to do it just for fun anymore. So I wouldn't go for something just because you're saying, hey, I like, I like fishing right now. Let's build a business around fishing. In my opinion, that's, that's just not not right thing to do. Based on at least my experience and people that I see who are the richest out there right now and also at the happiest they basically picked a sector or went into different sectors and industries when they saw opportunities, they became good at delivering value into those opportunities and then they made money from it. And if they had, good, I guess, free time, they just used that free time to go and, and I guess, take part of their hobbies and all that. The problem I see with passions, I mean, that people like wine, golf, yachts, all that stuff, but when they start to make it a business, I see people literally start to hate their, their hobbies just because it's like, it's literally taking all their day now. I, I think in, in regards to passion, yes, you need to do something that you're passionate about, but I think it's not about what you do, it's more about where that's coming from. So if you're passionate about something or just life in general, you can bring in that passion into everywhere. So I think a, a better perspective on this topic is just, find a way to bring passion to whatever you're doing because it's part of you, it's an expression of you, it's just you being alive and trying to do something. I think instead of trying to focus on the actual finding what you love, find, I guess, the passion in what you can get from the business or the activity. Just for me, like right now, even doing this video or just being in business and trying to grow businesses and learn about businesses and being involved in so many different sectors and different people, for me, I, li I just like that activity, that work. And I think I just like it because first of all, I'm involved with it a lot and I'm just used to it. And it's getting to a point where you just, you find out the fun and the passion and just the little things. So it's not about the, the exter external things that's happening. It's more about finding the passion inside and just bringing it to every activity. I think also instead of passion, try to think what you're curious about. So instead of thinking, hey, this is my passion and this is what I want, think what I'm curious about. What do I want to learn more about? What would I 
love to do even if I, uh, I'd never get paid for it or what would I'd love to do even if I had all the money in the world and then I think finding the balance between there and just doing something that you're curious about and that you're willing to put a lot of time into because I think in the end of the day that's what matters being consistent and really putting time into, into something so if you see that you're really really curious about something you're really like naturally inclined to go there and, and learn about that space I think that's a very good place to go just because if you're willing to put a lot of time into it you'll get good at it and you'll get results and then it's just all combined passion results happiness all that stuff coming together so yeah i think passion in business in my opinion go and find an opportunity go and find a good uh, i guess a good way to just enjoy your process and then when you're financially free just use that time to to do what you love or passion like and many times you'll find out that the actual activity is what you love more about the actual fun like for me right now i seriously travel pretty much anywhere in the world that i wanted and I find more passion and happiness by doing, by creating, by giving versus going out there and just sitting on the beach all day drinking, drinking cocktails. Uh, and there's nothing wrong about that. But I think you'll find out eventually that you're getting your uh, fulfillment and happiness, happiness not by going out there and just lying around and, and I guess being reactive to things. I think happiness comes from taking action and being taking initiative and creating things and that's where i try to that's what i try to do with this channel as well just with business in general uh, i think that's where you should find your passion and happiness and as long as you focus on that and understand that it's all an internal thing versus external stuff then i think you, you'll find passion and happiness and all that stuff and obviously you'll put any time into it because you're passionate and happy about doing those things and then results will come as well so yeah i think you need to find I guess joy and happiness in the progress, in the growth, and just in putting yourself outside your comfort zone. That's where you really feel alive when you're doing things that are new to you. Like again, this thing, this thing for me, like doing this YouTube channel, I'm really committed to this just in the last like, I don't know, month or so. So I think that by finding joy in that, by just putting yourself out there, doing things that you're not used to, you're, I think, a sense of aliveness is, is very similar to just being passionate about something and this is in my opinion what you should focus on and yeah to, to summarize this video I think whatever you have in mind uh, if it's business if it's anything you want to do in life it's all about adding value in the end of the day so really just think with yourself hey where can I add more value where can I bring in um, my initiative my thoughts my creative ideas and really help the world and obviously at the same time help myself and when it's a win-win for everyone I think that's where happiness is there passion is there and just growth and success and all that and it's, it's pretty cool so uh, i hope you enjoyed it it's a bit different video let me know what you think about it uh but i think it's it's important to talk about it because everyone's saying hey follow your passion find something you're passionate about and many people just don't understand what that means in my opinion it's more about finding especially in the business world finding a good opportunity in that space finding uh, i guess a place in the market where you can add value into that place and then just bring passion into that like for me it's more about passion of just doing deals in general versus doing deals in a specific industry if that makes sense uh, i hope that helps if you like this um, subscribe comment below let me know what you think and remember this channel is mostly about buying businesses growing businesses but um i'm, I'm a hope i'm happy to just share my thoughts in general with you guys i'm, I'm, I'm here to in the end of the day document my journey i think it will be cool to, to watch myself in five ten years from from now and see where, where I got myself into and where I started. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll, I'll see you soon.